So there's been a ring that I've been streaming and following for for a pretty long time and it got to the point where I was like why am I really going for this ring because the stats are not really that useful. In the beginning I just wanted it because it was the newest ring in the game for Storm and I thought I could kind of if I got it I could kind of test stats and then maybe throw together some kind of new gear video. But then I started to realize that, yes, it is a better ring than ex other existing ones that I've had, but it's not that good. It's not something that I, with my current gear set, that I'm actually going to use. And I think at that point, I just was trying to see how long it would actually take me to get this ring. Not that it was going to be really useful for me to get, but here it is. This is the ring. It's called Hagakure's Monsoon Ring. I think that's how you say it, whatever. But it's the Monsoon Ring, level 120, dropped by the Mimic. And the stats on it, it gives, like, the main thing is it gives 97 crit with 10% damage. So, if you look at it, this is an upgrade from the ring that I got uh, from the Shadow Walk, which is the Ringlet of Tempest. It's just a pure upgrade to this. And... Actually, I'm, I'm comparing the wrong rings here. Let me, let me put this on. I was like staring at it. I'm like, wait, that's Night Orbs. Uh, here's the here's the two crit rings. There you go. So, bit of a crit increase, nothing crazy. The big difference is the damage. But the thing about it is I've been kind of switching up how I play Storm with not going for just complete all-out crit and kind of pushing for more damage. And you might think that this ring would be good for that, but it's actually not because you need Power Pip. And I really do stress having 100% power pips for Storm because you just have the spells that you need at certain turns. Because the way I play it is I expect a hit on certain turns, usually turn two or three, depending on the battle. And we were able to do three round mimics all the time. And if you don't get power pips, especially if it's really low, like under 75%, you are not going to get the pips that you need to cast those spells. So. We'll talk about that, but um, yeah, I think towards the end of the video, I'll go over like my storm stats. Not like a full update, but uh, a lot of it with the new ring. But the other rings, there are uh, one for every single school, including a universal ring. So we'll just go over those because I have all of them. I farmed this so many times that I have every single ring, and I've gotten multiples of every single one except the universal ring and the storm ring. So here's the life one, 81 crit. 9% damage. I probably would never use this on my life, but I have it. Here's the universal ring. Nothing crazy here. I just It's just one of the ring drops from the Mimic. The other ones I have in my gear vault. So we're going to quickly look at that. But these are the highest crit rings for every school. And I'm not really going to be using them too much. Um, the fire one, maybe. I'll give it to my fire. But here is the balance one. 83 crit, 9% damage. And then the myth one. 84 crit, 10% damage. Uh, death, 83 and 9%. And then the life one again. Uh, here's the ice one, 81, 9%. And uh, I also have the fire in my shared bank, so we'll go look at that quick. And uh, then we'll kind of look at the storm stats. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys my struggle of getting all this. Was it really worth it? Probably not. Like, in all honesty, I'm not even going to use this ring. I think it was just kind of a test for me to see how long it would take to get all these. Here's Smithrise Blazing Loop, 87 and 11% damage. This one has a lot of damage. So I could see people using this maybe for a fire damage set. Maybe. Well, there are probably fire rings that get more damage than this. But it's fire, crit, and fire damage. So I don't know. Maybe it has a place. Maybe it doesn't. But I have this in my shared bank just in case my fire does want to use it. Because, well, I have all the crit rings now. So might as well give it to characters that could use it. I'm not going to use it in my life. But I think we can move on now to the part of the video where I just kind of look at my new storm stats. I mean, they're not really that new because I'm not going to be using the ring, but we could look at it as to what my stats could be with the ring. And the reason I don't like it is because it does drop a lot of the other stats that you may have. And I'm trying to compensate, but it's not easy. So here is the ring with the 93% uh, power pip with the crit. 908 crit. This is nothing new. I've had over 900 crit before. And 
the bad thing about having 100 crit is you're going to have less than 100% power pips. It's just very difficult to kind of counteract that. And decent damage, resists whatever, uh, pierce is pretty non-existent, but that's kind of how, I mean, you can't have like a lot of crit and pierce too. That's kind of difficult to do. But here we go, and block, I mean, of course, but I don't really go into block too much uh, anymore. I have some sets that are super defensive, but even then, it's only like 40% block. So um, let's look at some of my other sets. This is my set that I set up recently that I really like. And for Storm right now, you only need, uh, okay, only, I mean, this is still a lot of crit, but you need 800 or so crit to get 100%. So that's what I really go for right now. The 811 is kind of where I'm at. And this is with the help of my crit pet, of course. I have a triple crit, triple damage pet. So that helps a lot. Um, if you didn't have this pet or a pet with crit, you're going to have to probably use a crit ring. But then you're going to have to uh, find a way to make up the power pit because having over 100% power pit with this crit is good. And then of course, 129 damage. So this is my favorite set just because it's super balanced. 100% critical chance, and a lot of damage, decent resist, 30 accuracy, that's important too, and then uh, pierce and block, I don't really care too much about, but that's kind of where I'm at. Does the new crit ring fit into that? No, it doesn't, because if I just switch it with this, 900 crit, I don't really need 900 crit, and then you drop power pip, so, and damage too. So, not the best. I was kind of experimenting with the storm owl terror ring and it's really similar stats the only thing difference is you get a little more pierce because i put a pierce jewel in and everything else is fairly similar i guess a little less damage but but yeah so here's where storm's at if a ring ever came along that had this much critical this much damage and power pip it would be insane it would even if this ring right here, instead of a square slot, it had a triangle jewel slot, that would be insane. Because then you could socket a 10% pip jewel and you would make up for that lost power pip. That would make these rings crazy. So if they ever did that, then yeah, it's gonna that's gonna be the best ring in the game. But we don't have that yet, so we are just going to have to continue using Storm Altair Ring or the Night Orbs Ring. I really like this one just for the damage. But there's also another one that's dropped by the uh, dropped by Aphrodite. I've never gotten that one before, but it's fine. I mean, there's plenty of ring options, but here's the thing about the different ring options at like higher levels. The stat differences are very small, and it's kind of preference. For me, I like this one, so it's up to you. There's no like one ring to rule them all. There's actually not. So whatever ring you want to use, uh, you can go ahead. I mean, the nice thing about, uh, what, what other ring was I using that gave me like a ton of health? I mean, this ring gives a lot of health, 300. Not that I'm really like going for health, but yeah. So that's just uh, my video looking at all the new crit rings. Are they worth it? Probably not. Like I would not go to the mimic and farm for rings. There's no reason to. I just want to do it just to kind of test stats. I mean, look at this. This is the... <laughs> this is the result of all my struggle like going for that. So was it worth it? No. I do not think that you need to go and farm the Mimic for the crit ring. You will do fine without it. There's other options for rings for uh, like storm and fire. So probably easier farming options too. Because the Mimic is fairly easy, but you still, I don't know. If you're lucky, you get it. If not, there's better rings. I use Night Orbs. So there you go. Hope that's some insight for you guys. Uh, these rings do exist. They are the highest crit rings in the game for each school, but I wouldn't say they're the best. Actually, before we end it, I just want to quickly uh, mention that there are new badges for the bosses. Mimic Muter, as you see I'm wearing, they added that in with the new update. And then the Stone Key Boss, the, uh, I forgot his name, the Pirate Guy. Do I even have it? I actually don't even have it. I think it's called like Hawkins Hex or something like that. I don't know. Interesting badge name. But, um, and then I have no idea what the wooden key one is. So there's new badge names. I mean, I'm glad they finally decided to put in the badge names or the badges for the bosses because it makes sense. Mimic Meter. So 
There you go, new badges. But that's going to do it. Leave a like if you guys have enjoyed this. If it was informative for you, subscribe for more. And I'll see you all next time.